What's your take on what's happening in the space right now? And is the bull case still intact for a lot of these tech names? Look, every company needs to evolve to the reality of the marketplace. And obviously the markets have looked at big tech and have recorrected them. Um, on the flip side, my entire career is based on consumer behavior. Just because the stocks are not trading at the same multiple doesn't mean that people are using these technologies any less. And so to the point of like thinking about Disney that we just talked about being very strategic years ago and buying up IP like Lucas and Marvel, uh, I believe the Twitters and the Ubers and the Metas of the world will have to evolve their businesses. But at the end of the day, humans are not going backwards. These tech companies will continue to take up attention and time, and it's up to the operators to run good businesses. You know, Gary, I think it's interesting because we have had a pretty bad start to the year for the NASDAQ, and it does seem like the bear camp has really soured on some of these high growth tech stocks like Meta, for example, the market cap last week falling below $600 billion. Is the metaverse something you like as a concept? And is this an idea that investors should be paying more attention to and leaning into as an investment thesis, as a concept? The metaverse, the way you're bringing it up, and there's a lot of context to it, is more of a VR world when you think about what meta has with Oculus. I don't think is a tomorrow thing, and obviously the markets, unlike entrepreneurs like myself are looking at things from every 90 day period. So for this audience, I don't think they should be banking on the metaverse driving huge results. When you start thinking about 24 months from now, 48 months from now, 72 months from now, there's no question that meta more than anybody else because of the hardware of Oculus is a leader and has the most to gain. And as they start to evolve that business to a subscription business, uh, then it will start getting interesting to see how the market reacts to them putting up those points on the board and not just being an advertising juggernaut. So the metaverse is not here yet the way that NFTs are here, um, but it is definitely in the kind of within this decade uh, window. Gary, it's Hadley out in Abu Dhabi. I want to ask you about the Bitcoin slash hey, crypto boom that we've seen over the last couple of years. If you look at it in, in sort of a, the big picture context, I mean, at this point, um, you know, it's, it's an avenue um, not just to make a lot of money or lose a lot of money, but it's also an avenue for money laundering. And it's also a, a place where white supremacists apparently are taking options. I mean, it's problematic at best in so many ways. Um, how do you see what's happening in the crypto space today? I don't think the crypto space has any more problematic issues than the internet, society at large, mainstream media, Wall Street. Um, you know, I think it's a new avenue of innovation and I think every avenue of innovation has good characters and bad characters. So how do I look at it? I look at it as a new platform where consumers and humans will evolve and all the good and the bad that comes along with human behavior will play out on the platforms.